I am Phil Constantine. We're going to be looking at the Flint Courthouse in Spring. It's uh, not too far from Stillwell, Oklahoma, a little bit southwest of it, and about a mile from the uh, Dahlonega School, about a that, and it's located uh, in Section 20, Township 15 North, Range 25 East, if you got one old maps and you can see here from some of the maps that are out there that this was in the uh, flint district in the, what was originally the uh, uh, cherokee reservation back in 1839 when the cherokees pretty well had all uh, assimilated there in the eastern part of oklahoma they established nine districts and the flint district was the smallest one and they established courts in each of the districts and this is the location where the original court was held uh, in flint uh, sometime around, uh, it was originally a one-story building, sometime around the 1880s, a two-story uh, building was put up here. And they did all kinds of cases here, Cherokees involving Cherokees, civil cases, criminal cases. Uh, they even had a, a tree where somebody was hung. They had a whipping tree where penalties could be given out for criminal offenses. And then just decisions were made on uh, regular civil affairs. Uh, it uh, The building pretty well wore down over the years. Uh, eventually, the uh, Adair or Adair County a Historical Society uh, and other folks got together and made a replica of the building in the 17, 1970s. And uh, this is what remains here. It's not in very good shape, but you'll be able to see the uh, building here, what it uh, was originally designed as, and this is the area. Now, there are lots of buildings out here in the immediate vicinity, which are no longer there. There was uh, several hotels. There was a homes out here. There was stores, blacksmith, blacksmith shops, uh, cotton gin, and it was just all around uh, the uh, Salisaw Creek. This was all on the south side. Eventually, railroads came through right around the corner from what was called the Devil's Eyebrow, which was a very dangerous railroad curve. And if you're going too fast, they had uh, problems there with the trains going through. But this is the building. The insides of it, well, they've seen, well, the entire building's seen better days, but the insides have definitely seen better days. Lots of graffiti. And unfortunately, the cows wandered through here, so you've got to watch where you're stepping. And then uh, just off and away from it is a spring. Now, somebody came through uh, several years ago and put in sandstone all around the spring and made it in the shape of an arrowhead. So the water still flows through here. It's a spot where water could be obtained. And back in the days when uh, people were still living here in the immediate vicinity, uh, the original Cherokee inhabitants, uh, the, the spring was a very important location. Now there's a private property uh, surrounding the area. And it's off of a, a dirt road, so it's uh, something you have to pretty well be looking for. And it's an interesting spot here. It's definitely a part of Cherokee culture, Cherokee history, especially just immediately after the uh, settling here in the 1830s through about the early 1900s. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up by clicking on the button below. You're welcome to leave comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And finally, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the button over on the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you again for watching.